Have you ever wondered how a calculator can figure out sine, cosine, tangent, and other complicated functions? Does real analysis have something to do with it? Is there a mathematically precise way to evaluate these functions? The answer to the latter will be discussed in this video. But first, we'll go through real analysis. Real analysis is a branch of mathematics that was created to formalize the study of numbers and functions, as well as to analyze key concepts like limits and continuity. Calculus and its applications are based on these ideas. Some particular concepts of real analysis are real numbers, order properties of real numbers, topological properties of real numbers, sequences, limits and convergence, compactness, continuity, differentiation and integration, series, distribution, and metric spaces. Among these concepts, we will focus on series, specifically Taylor series. Taylor series is known as a series expansion to a point of a real function in an infinite series. According to Weistein E. 2022, an example of the expansion of the Taylor series which is one-dimensional of a real function f of x about a point x is equals to a, is given by. For sine x, cosine x, and e to the x, the Taylor series is used. Did you know that real analysis has many applications in different fields of mathematics such as approximation by polynomials, discrete dynamical system, differential equation, Fourier system, wavelets, convexity and optimization. Among the mentioned real-life application of real analysis, we will be focusing on approximation by polynomials. Many people are wondering how a calculator calculates sine, cosine, ln, and other complex functions. Others find it amusing how calculators determine what is the accurate value for a certain equation. For an instance, you want to find the value of cosine 2 or negative e to the fourth in your calculator. Is there a mathematical and precise way to evaluate these functions? There are algorithms that give an approximate value of a certain function under the basic operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Taylor series are generally used to approximate complex functions like sine x, cosine x, ln x, etc. that are complicated to differentiate and integrate with a new easier to work with function at the value of the sum difference between the two functions. However, we should realize early on that an approximation is only as good as the error estimate that can be verified. It is hard to evaluate whether the approximation is worth the time until we can estimate the error. We can obtain an approximation by truncating the infinite Taylor series into a finite degree Taylor polynomial, which we can evaluate. Many interesting and useful series can be derived using Taylor series. Mathematicians have used several of these series to approximate the values of major irrational constants like pi and e. For better representation, here is an example of how an approximation works. Practical Application of Taylor Series in Calculator At some point in our mathematical journey, we come across new sorts of operations. The most frequent, non-algebraic, functions we study in math are trigonometric functions like sine, cosine, and tangent. They are non-algebraic since the result cannot be calculated using only arithmetic. Calculator is used to find the result of sine, cosine, or tangent, with the exception of a few exceptional angles. Since a calculator can only approximate an answer, the more decimal places our calculator may display, the more advanced it is. The Taylor or Maclaurin series expansion is a valuable method that is taught in advanced calculus for transforming the sine function into a polynomial. Compared to the rounded, estimated value of 0.7966, we can see that the result would likely be considered incorrect. The rounding off, estimation, and limited terms that we solved could also be considered as to why the results are not exactly identical. Thus, computing trigonometric functions manually is crucial and not actually reliable as it needs a lot of time and attempts. Many of us are unaware that polynomials are used every day by people in different professions. Looking into more specific applications, the following are the usage of approximation by polynomials using Taylor series in real-life situations. Polynomial approximations are used in real-world settings to describe curves of various types. These curves are commonly used by engineers in similar fields to design and build bridges, roller coasters, etc. Also, through approximating polynomials, economists can do cost analyses. 
Polynomial approximations are also used in the financial industry in determining prices in stock markets which vary from time to time. Business industry also uses this to model markets to forecast the price of goods and its effect on sales of the business. Polynomial approximations are also used in the field of science, specifically in physics to describe the trajectory of projectiles. Polynomial approximations are also utilized for forestry employment in environmental conservation and logging. Conservationists, loggers, and forest engineers use it to manage lands like calculating trees to replant after cutting down some trees. 